Dear friends in Christ, welcome to our daily reflection for the 19th of July and Wednesday of the 15th week in the ordinary time. God's dealings with his chosen people was a clear demonstration of who he truly is, one who is always present, constantly intervening in the history of the people. In the first reading of today, taken from Exodus chapter 3, verses 1 to 6 and verses 9 to 12, Moses, who had fled for his life, came in contact with the mystery called God. He was content doing the business of his father-in-law by tending the flock. God, however, had a mission to accomplish through him, a mission that will bring the people of Israel out of their bondage and slavery in Egypt to their own land. While Moses led the flock to Horeb, he knew not what to expect. But there, he had a new experience. He was called by the angel from the burning bush. The bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. This looks more like the fire of the Holy Spirit that burns in the believers without consuming them. Moses was inquisitive to know what exactly was happening to the bush. Then he heard his name, Moses, Moses. And when he had answered, here I am, the voice went on, do not come near, put off your shoes from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. With this God sent him back to Egypt from where he fled to lead his people to freedom. Moses considered himself unworthy of this mission, saying, Who am I that I shall go to Pharaoh and bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt? God, however, assured him of divine support. This I am still works today in and through those who believe. The mission to do good is beyond us as humans. We have our challenges and mountains like Pharaoh to Moses. But if we rely on divine assurance and assistance, there is nothing impossible to achieve. The Gospel, taken from Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 to 27, is a prayer of thanksgiving offered by Jesus. He says, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to infants. Often, God uses what is weak by human reckoning to confront and shame the strong. No matter how powerful you become, remain humble before God. The wisdom of the wise is not that which saves. Salvation is found in Jesus, who himself came in flesh and blood as a baby and was subjected to all sorts of inhuman treatments. Jesus says, It is the gracious will of the Father. If not, salvation may be out of the reach of the weak, the lowly, and the humble of the earth. The powerful can make heaven too expensive if they have the chance to determine who gets there. Word for today. Open your Bible to Exodus chapter 3, verse 2. It says, The bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. Let us pray. O God, who willed to reveal your glory to mere children, help me to approach your throne of grace with all confidence in your power to save. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.